Odessa and Big Spring. This is ABC Big 2 News at 10. Now at 10, a high school football player in West Texas has died after a serious head injury during a junior varsity football game in the Panhandle. Dalhart High School sophomore Yahir Kensino was hurt during a game on Thursday. His family shared on social media that the young man passed away from his injuries. Tonight his family said they are donating Yahir's organs because their son and brother was always about helping others. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Rob Took. We start with this tragic loss and how the small community is responding. Dalhar ISD officials said the Dalhar Golden Wolves were playing the Sundown Red Roughnecks in Dimmit when Yahir suffered a serious head injury. With six minutes left in the fourth quarter, the game was called at that point. After trainers and first responders were unable to revive Yahir, he was airlifted to the pediatric ICU in Lubbock. A prayer vigil was held at the Dalhart Stadium yesterday for Yahir Consino. They put up his number 22 on the scoreboard. Towards the end of the vigil, many of those in attendance formed a 22 on the field in honor of the young man. His family said on social media, Yahir was never afraid to share the gospel. They said he is up there pulling pranks and being the little rascal that he is, another vigil is being held tomorrow to honor him. And across Texas, the Uvalde High School football team landed their first win at home last night. It's given the community more reasons to cheer and to be together in the months since the school shooting. ABC's John Quinones reports from the field. Those Friday night lights shine brighter in Texas. And on this field, a community ripped apart is coming together. It's the Coyotes' first home game of the season. It was just over three months ago that tragedy struck here. A gunman killing 21 at Robb Elementary School. Heading into the season, that number weighed heavily on the Coyotes head coach, Wade Miller. I called some of the seniors over and I said, do we retire it? Do we give it to a senior? What do y'all want to do? And they were unanimous. Oh, that would be awesome if somebody who represents the community were to wear that every year, be a different senior every year. 18-year-old Justin Rendon is the team captain. His family are his biggest fans. We all can lean on each other's shoulders and that we don't have to feel alone. Their first game of the season last week was an away game. Final score, Carrizo Wildcats 13, Uvalde Coyotes 21. A poignant reminder of the 21 lives lost. And on the team's first home game, another win for the Coyotes. Still a big win with my boys. Fought our hardest, but we never gave up. And, you know, that was just what this town needed. Giving their fans and the community a reason to come together and cheer. And to collectively feel just a bit of healing one tiny step at a time. In Texas, John Quinones, ABC News. And this coming Tuesday, September 6th, Andrews ISD and members of the Andrews community are asked to show support for the Uvalde community by wearing the color maroon. And in just moments, we're taking a look at all this football this weekend coming up in sports. And now, your forecast first on well, ABC. Well, Saturday Big has TV. arrived, and the one thing we have been seeing in the past 12 hours is there have been a lot of rain activity going on in the area. Because of the rain that we have been seeing, we currently do have some green weather alerts. We have that flood advisory, a uh, flood advisory watch going on in Brewster, Jeff Davis, Pecos, Presidio, lasting until Sunday, 1 a.m. Central Time. So everything south of I-10 is under that flood watch and specifically we do have a couple of these flood warnings going on lasting until 8 8 18 p.m tonight in brewster the one thing we do advise is that you stay indoors until the storm does pass over and turn around don't drown over to you rob Thank you, Bridget. Now a storm in Big Bend National Park damaged two popular park attractions today. A section of switchbacks along the Lost Mine Trail collapsed, resulting in heavy damage to that section of trail. The trail will reopen as soon as crews have a chance to stabilize, assess, repair, and make it safe for hikers. High water and debris cross the pavement along the Ross Maxwell Scenic Drive south of the Mule Ears Overlook. The road is closed south of the overlook as crews work on repairs. Thankfully, no one was hurt today. And caught on camera tonight, police in Mississippi say a man stole a plane and threatened to crash it into a Walmart store. 
The man did not have a pilot's license, but did have some flight instruction. He eventually crashed the plane into a field. Take a look. We didn't have time to react. Okay, did you say you saw it? Mm -hmm. Was it loud? Pretty loud. Madden and Sam Graves were out on a Saturday morning hunt in the woods when they first heard the news. Now, and a pilot who has indicated that he plans to crash that plane somewhere. So we heard on the news that there was a plane circling the area. They weren't the only ones who saw and heard the plane flying low that morning. Roxanne Ward says she heard the plane go down. Its ultimate resting place would be right here, a field in a little area called Gravestown, just out of Ripley. We were aware of the plane, and so we were tracking it, and when we saw it come over, we started to take cover. Uh, that's when we heard the thud in the field. We jumped on our um, side by side to go see if we could help, and that's when we saw the pilot come out of the plane, um, and two police officers were already there waiting. This map shows the erratic path the pilot took in the plane, all the way from Tupelo, up northwest through Blue Mountain, and then on up, landing just west of Ripley in Tippa County. This is the man they arrested, identified as 29-year-old Corey Patterson, an employee of Tupelo Airport. Ward says she heard Officer Safer Patterson to put his hands in the air, and he voluntarily did so. First, we wanted to make sure that he was okay, and then... Um, we were just kind of in shock. Obviously, I feel sorry for him. I hate that it ended like it did, but I'm glad that no one was hurt. Now to an update tonight from NASA. For the second time this week, the space agency scrubbed the Artemis 1 launch. The launch had been scheduled for today, but it was called off as the countdown was in progress. The mission was brought to a halt when technicians were not able to repair a leak of supercooled liquid hydrogen propellant inside the rocket. This was to have been the debut test flight of the giant rocket that's expected to go on the first mission of NASA's Moon to Mars Artemis program. And much closer to home tonight, taking a live look from our Midland Tower camera. One local organization is in desperate need of volunteers. ABC Big 2's Ozzy Mora tells us what CASA is and how you can help out. CASA of West Texas is vital to kids in our area. It helps many who have no one else to turn to feel safe. CASA stands for Court Appointed Special Advocate. So what that means is whenever a child is removed from their home because of abuse or neglect, the judge will appoint one of our volunteers to advocate for that child in the court and in the community. A lot of kids are moved into the foster care system and sometimes they need someone who will be by their side through the entire process. They're removed from their home, sometimes far away from their communities, their schools, their friends. So during that time, it's really important that a child has a constant presence in their lives to be able to speak up for them and that's what our CASAs do. They make sure that in amongst all the chaos that's going on in that child's life, their voice isn't lost. The group is completely run by volunteers and like we mentioned, they're called advocates and they go through a lot of training. There's an application that people have to fill out, there's an in-person interview as well as a couple of background checks because we really want to be able to prepare um, our volunteers for what they may face. Anyone can get involved and help these kids. We're always looking for more volunteers. Our goal is to serve at 100%, so we want to make sure that every child that comes into the foster care system has a CASA on their side, and so we are always looking for more volunteers. That way we have people ready to take the cases as they come in. CASA of West Texas only has 120 volunteers across seven different West Texas counties. Be sure to watch ABC Big 2 News 10 next Saturday for another inside look at the group. For now, reporting in studio, Ozzy Mora, ABC Big 2 News. And thank you, Ozzy. If you're interested in volunteering, just head to yourbasin.com to find out how. A week full of rain has caused drought levels to decrease in the area. We could get a break from the rain. I'll take a look at that. And the first full college football Saturday has been a hectic one. Highlights from the biggest teams in Texas coming up in sports. And the UTPB Falcons kicked off their season tonight. Highlights from the tall city straight ahead. What you may know about Midland, Texas is maybe that we are the home to two 
past presidents of the United States. Or maybe you heard about a precious baby in a well, or that we are the oil capital of the United States. But what you may not know is Midland is a rich and diverse community. This is Midland, our city, our stories. As our kids live alongside COVID, remember, they're safer when they're vaccinated against the virus. It'll help prevent long-term symptoms like weeks of exhaustion. It'll reduce the spread in schools and to your home. And it's been proven safe with millions of children already vaccinated. Talk to a medical provider today about keeping your kids up to date on their COVID vaccinations so they can play safe. Visit vaccinenm.org slash kids to get started. I'm Danny, team leader here at the ATB Warehouse. We move quickly to get products from our warehouses to our stores. Working hard for Texas is what ATB is all about. I love working at ATB because I'm part of something bigger. Each and every person counts at ATB because here, people matter. Join ATB and be part of something as big as Texas. When safe drivers save for not answering their phone while driving, they feel like a big deal. Did you get the ice? Even if they forgot the ice. Huh. Save up to 30% on auto insurance with USAA Safe Pilot. Get a quote today. ABC News. Honored. Winner of nine Edward R. Murrow Awards. More than any other network. Including winning for the third straight year the award for overall excellence in television. ABC News is America's number one news source. AMID is the Basin's first television station. From 1953 until now and beyond. We're always first, always accurate, and always proud to call the Basin home. Watch ABC Big 2 News. Thank you, Permian Basin, for watching ABC Big 2 News. I'm David Muir. Watch World News Tonight at 5.30, followed by ABC Big 2 News at 6 with Madeline and Carson. Together, we're bringing you the big breaking stories in West Texas and around the world as they happen. <laughs> Now, your local weather authority forecast. Well, friends, happy Saturday. Today was a nice day, pretty fair. We did see some rain, but for the most part, we're able to enjoy a high of 84 degrees. Usually around this time in August, we're definitely used to 91 degree temperatures. So we are a couple degrees cooler. But you know, around this time back in 1939, we did sit in our triple digits. So it was hot about now, sitting at 101 degrees. Taking a look at our lows, we came in pretty even for today with our our average sitting at 68 degrees so you know what we're gonna take what we can get currently in this moment we are cooling down um, slowly but surely we are sitting at 72 degrees there will continue to be some rain in some of the areas our humidity 44 percent our dew point sitting at 60 and then our pressure 29.9 winds traveling north northeast seven miles per hour now we're gonna continue to see some rain in the area in the past couple hours we have been seeing a lot of rain action in different parts of the Permian Basin area because of the rain that we have been seeing we are going to have a couple weather alerts we do have a flood watch in brewster jeff davis pecos presidio lasting until tomorrow 1 a.m central time taking a closer look at what we are seeing because of all that rain we have been seeing we do have a flood warning in brewster lasting until tomorrow 4 p.m central time and then we do have another one in that same area although though but it will be dropping and declining in and also, you know, going away around Sunday, 8.15 p.m. So that flood watch, that flood warning is going to be with us the entire time. Taking a look at that flood safety tips, avoid flooded roads, turn around and don't drown is our major one, but also drive slowly in those puddles so you don't get stuck like this car. We have been seeing a lot of rain in the area. We're going to continue to see that into tonight. Now, tomorrow morning, we are going to be sitting in our 60s at 67 degrees. We are going to have some thin clouds, but it is also going to be muggy because of that rain that we have been seeing. Our, our winds will be 
traveling south, southeast 10 to 20 miles per hour. Taking a closer look at what we will be seeing, those thin clouds around 8 a.m. By the time we get into noon, those clouds do leave us a little bit, warming up to 80 degrees. It's going to continue to warm up with some bright skies by the time we get into 5 p.m. at 87 degrees. So we are going to stay in our 80s. Tomorrow morning, for those going to church, we will be seeing, you know, a, some clear skies in the middle of the area. And then in Fort Stockton, Marfa, and in Alpine, we are going to see some cloudiness. We're going to continue to see some clouds all the way into Sunday. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to make the most of what we can because our allergy report does show that our trees and our grass sitting low, our dust and our mold sitting pretty moderate. For the most part, let's enjoy what we can. We're going to have some mostly sunny skies tomorrow. 90 degrees is going to be the warmest that we see for this upcoming week. Labor Day will be sitting at 89 degrees. Have a happy weekend. Thanks a lot, Bridget. Over to sports now with ABC Big 2's Avi Cargloth. Hey, Avi. Happy game day. And a happy game day to you too, Rob. Congrats to you and your Cal Bears on getting a win. Hey, US, uh, us college fans here in Texas, we had our eyes on fields all over as the season kicked off for most major programs this afternoon. Jimbo Fisher, let's start with him, entering his fifth season as the head coach for Texas A&M. Hard to believe it's already been five seasons. Third and goal on the one yard line, a handoff to Devon A-Chain for the touchdown. Aggies extend their lead 24-0 before the fourth quarter, and A&M up 24-0. King to Smith, you're gonna see that connection a lot, a 43-yard score as Texas A&M, they win big, shutting out Sam Houston 31 to nothing. Now, meanwhile, UTEP going out to Oklahoma for their week one game. Brent Venables making his head coaching debut for Oklahoma. Still first quarter, same, it, it, rather, it is Gavin Freeman who's going to take it down the sideline. He's going to break through tackles and finally make it into the end zone. A 46-yard touchdown to put the Sooners up three scores. And then Gavin Williams is no longer there, but the passing attack is A-OK. -okay. Oklahoma is going to cruise to another big win 45 to 13 and in the game that nobody saw coming an intense triple overtime instant thriller between Houston and UTSA we gotta go for two now in the third overtime and Houston's Clayton Toon scrambles and flips over the defender for the two-point conversion the best two points you'll see in college football two makes an incredible play it's a two-point lead UTSA they got to answer with two more a pass to Zakari Franklin is incomplete in Houston edges the minor or rather the the roadrunners by two and we had plenty of action elsewhere in texas starting with those texas tech red raiders they were never seriously threatened by murray state it was a happy night in lubbock tonight the game's not over but at last check they're up 53 points. Meanwhile, same story for the Texas Longhorns. Special teams got them started early with a block kick return for a touchdown. The defense, they were spectacular all night long. Their offense had a bit of a slow start. They're cruising right now to a 1-0 start, up 52-10. to Good day for the Baylor Bears as they took complete control over the Albany Great Danes. They walk away with a 69-10 to victory. Good news for Texas college teams. Continued throughout the night with SMU coming out on top of the North Texas Mean Green. They win easily 48 to 10 as they take on Lamar next week. Well, the UTPB Falcons kicked off their season tonight as the program looks to take another step forward in their upward trajectory. This is a big year for UTPB and they played like it early, trying to kick off the season on the right foot. Tons of energy from the Falcons as they prepare to kick off their season against Southwest Baptist. First offensive drive for UTPB. Dylan Graham to Gunner Absec makes a man miss and picks up the first down. He led the team with five catches and 66 yards. That would lead to the Falcons' only points of the first half. After the field goal, it's a 7-3 to three deficit. The UTPB defense, they had some strong moments in the second quarter. Caleb Pearson comes up with a big sack. They're trying to ignite a spark. A little bit later on the next defensive drive, Darian Forge and Dominique Valera converge on the QB to get another one of those Falcons' three sacks. But it wasn't nearly enough, however, as UTPB starts the season with a 24-point loss to the Bearcats. 
And over to tennis, the farewell to a legend. Serena Williams thanking a packed crowd at the U.S. Open as she calls it a career. The tennis champ lost her match last night, but she didn't go down without a fight. ABC's Lars Spencer was at Arthur Ashe Stadium where it was one epic battle. She might not have won the match, but she left the game. She changed as a champion. I'm just so grateful to every single person that's ever said go Serena in their life. I'm just so grateful because, yeah, you got me here. Competing against a woman 11 years younger than her in an electrifying battle. So you can hear the crowd. It's absolutely deafening. It is awesome. Lasting three grueling sets. <laughs> over three hours long. And Serena just ramping up the aggressive play. Just crashing the ball. Even towards the end, when the raucous sold-out crowd of more than 29,000 went nearly silent after Isla Tamranovic took a commanding lead. <laughs> There would be one more ball. She is tonight at age 40, battling a 29-year-old. One more point. I only imagine what's going through her head at the moment. One more shot at glory. Even somehow down 5-1 in the final set, the legend grows. Fighting off six match points before saying goodbye to Arthur Ashe Stadium with another standing ovation. I know you're watching. Um, thanks, Mom. Oh my God, Mom. But it all started with my parents, and they deserve everything. So I'm really grateful for them. Oh my God, these are happy tears, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be Serena if it wasn't Venus. So thank you, Venus. Even her opponent had difficulty saying goodbye to the woman who calls herself just Serena. I think she embodies that no dream is too big and doesn't matter where you come from, um, you know, the circumstances, you can do anything. If you believe in yourself, you love what you do, I will definitely miss seeing her on the courts. It will not be the same. All right, that does it for me in sports. Back over to you, Rob. Uh, thanks a lot, Avi. Thousands are taking a trip this Labor Day weekend, and as families head to popular vacation rentals, there are some tips to keep in mind to keep your family safe. We'll be right back. Buy more, save more. During the four-day Super Labor Day sale at Furniture Row, save 200 bucks on every thousand you spend. That's right, our best offer is now double, plus six years no interest. But hurry, the four-day Super Labor Day sale at Furniture Row ends soon. I'm Chris Cuomo. Welcome to News Nation. One Nation, News Nation. It's time to amp up the fun at your local Ford dealer during the final days of the summer supercharged sales event. You still have time to lock in your order on select Ford vehicles and we'll lock in your rate. Even if rates go up before your order comes in, you're protected. So stop by your Ford dealer today during the final days of the summer supercharged sales event. Order a new Ford F-150 and lock in 2.9 financing plus 500 bonus cash. Only at your best in Texas Ford dealer. Aleve X. Its revolutionary rollerball design delivers fast, powerful, long-lasting pain relief. Believe it and see what's possible. AMID is the Basin's first television station. From 1953 until now and beyond. We're always first, always accurate, and always proud to call the Basin home. Watch ABC Big 2 News. It's the four-day Super Labor Day sale at Denver Mattress. And right now, the more you buy, the more you save. 
Save 200 bucks on every thousand you spend, plus six years new interest and free shipping. But hurry, the four-day Super Labor Day sale at Denver Mattress ends Monday. This Labor Day weekend, many Americans are vacationing at rental properties. There are things to keep in mind as you check in. Here's ABC's Phil Lipoff with more. Millions of Americans celebrating, getting in the last little bit of summer fun this Labor Day weekend, many of them staying in vacation rentals. And along with family fun comes some concern over safety following a fire at this rental property on New York's Long Island. A fire at the rental property killed two sisters on vacation with their family, 21-year-old Jillian and 19-year-old Lindsay Weiner, one month ago. Authorities say the rental property had 58 violations, including issues with its smoke detectors. You want to take a walkthrough of the rental home and make sure that you understand all the safety features of the home. Safety expert Justin Ford taking us on a tour of a main vacation home, pointing out things you need to look for when you rent a home. Tip one, smoke and carbon monoxide alarms. If a smoke alarm isn't nice, fresh looking new white plastic, it's probably older than 10 years. Every sleeping area and bedroom needs to have a carbon monoxide alarm. You wanna hit the test button and make sure that they're operational. Next, find the fire extinguishers. All rental homes in the United States are required to have fire extinguishers within 30 feet of any cooking appliances. And as for that backyard barbecue, just make sure that they're in a location that's a safe distance away from the rental home and that they operate as they should. That means you shouldn't have to light it with a match or a lighter stick. And if you're using a wood-burning fire pit, make sure you saturate it with water when you're done with it so that the fire is completely out. And that was Phil Lipoff reporting. If you're traveling with kids, Justin says, don't forget to bring those outlet plugs and skid strips or a bath mat for the shower if you're concerned a family member might slip and fall. Pastor Lee Curtis Child faces allegations of misconduct. His megachurch may never be the same. Lee Curtis. And up next, we take a look at the weekend box office. A new comedy movie about a scandal at a megachurch is causing quite the uproar tonight. That mockumentary movie, when we come back. And as we head to break, a reminder that if you see news happening, share your videos and photos on social media with us. Make sure you use the hashtag ABCBigTwoNews. And if you haven't done it yet, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We are ABC Big Two News. You nervous? Finally here! My lifelong dream of being in the FBI! We got this! We're feds! My dad died when I was in high school. I had to wait tables at a place just like this to be able to pay for school. It took hard work, but Texas gave me the opportunity to succeed. That's why, as governor, I focus on creating jobs for all Texans by investing in education, expanding our energy industry, and by keeping taxes low for our families. We are securing the future of Texas so that everyone has the same opportunities that Texas gave me. Break. Optimum is here with award-winning internet, TV, and mobile. Let's go. Giving you the power to get closer and go farther with speed and reliability. With our new 100% fiber internet we're building, together with Optimum Mobile, voted number one in customer satisfaction, you'll get the complete connectivity you deserve. And when you combine Optimum's award-winning connectivity with our 24-7 customer service, your future is only a connection away. We've all heard that as soon as you drive a new car off the lot, it depreciates by $5,000. Well, right now, if you own a current or one-year-old Honda or Kia, Kelly Grimsley Auto Group will give you your money back. We'll buy it back so you can upgrade into a newer model without losing a dime. When safe drivers save for not answering their phone while driving, they feel like a big deal. Did you get the ice? Even if they forgot the ice. Huh. Save up to 30% on auto insurance with USAA Safe Pilot. Get a quote today. This place is an overpriced money pit. I never should have bought. A warehouse party? Why not? Kind of vibing off this deep V. Go back and All episodes streaming on Hulu. 
Now to the weekend box office. Ticket sales are sizzling down, but there still are movies gracing the big screen, including a film about a pastor of a Southern Baptist megachurch who's hit with a sexual misconduct scandal. It's actually a comedy that tries to go beyond satire. ABC's resident movie critic Dean Richards gives us a review. Pastor Lee Curtis Childs faces allegations of misconduct. His megachurch may never be the same. Lee Curtis and I, we're going to get to the other side. Here then. Yeah, with the big old microphone. Come in closer, son. Showtime. What's up? Oh. Fresh is our turn, oh. baby. In the style of the great mockumentaries like Best in Show or This is Spinal Tap, Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul follows the same style. In it, Sterling K. Brown plays the pastor of a Southern Baptist megachurch who's hit with a sexual misconduct scandal. In an effort to rebuild his reputation and his congregation, he hires a documentary crew to record what he hopes will be a triumphant comeback for himself and his wife, the over-the-top first lady of the church, played by Regina Hall. While not built on one specific true story, this story comes from a compilation of stories about fame and power gone wild. Brown's pastor Childs feeds off the attention that he gets from being in the spotlight. Ditto for Mrs. Childs. Both of these talented actors beautifully balance the inherent comedy with the sharp shreds of truth and reality. Story-wise, it's about the excess and hypocrisy of some who claim to be your spiritual leaders. But Sterling K. Brown and especially Regina Hall. Having some fun and making the most of what's on the page of the script. You'll have some fun and a little to think about afterwards with Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul, playing in theaters and also on the Peacock streaming platform. It's a Dean's List B. And coming up after the break, Bridget will have one last look at the forecast. Stay with us. Labor Day savings are even bigger this weekend at Ashley. Shop doorbusters up to 50% off, starting at $119. Find this sofa now only $349. Or this five-piece dining set now only $629. Friday through Monday only at Ashley. Midland College presents the greatest piano men. A free high-energy rock and roll celebration of the greatest piano icons in music. 7.30 p.m. Saturday, September 17th, Al G. Langford Chaparral Center. Visit midland.edu forward slash piano men for more info. As our kids live alongside COVID, remember, they're safer when they're vaccinated against the virus. It'll help prevent long-term symptoms like weeks of exhaustion. It'll reduce the spread in schools and to your home. And it's been proven safe with millions of children already vaccinated. Talk to a medical provider today about keeping your kids up to date on their COVID vaccinations so they can play safe. Visit vaccinenm.org slash kids to get started. Your West Texas Symphony opens their exciting 60th season on September 10th at the Wagner Noel Performing Arts Center. Tickets start at $11. Visit WTXS.org for info. Mondays are my favorite day because that's when I come back here and see all you guys again. Fail. Oh, that's a fail. Make way! Smart kid coming through. Don't look at him with your regular IQ. Sweet baby Jesus and the grown one, too. Got this, Janine. I don't believe that she does. She's down. I'm okay. No, ow, I'm okay. Friday through Monday only at Ashley's Labor Day Weekend Sale. Save up to 25% off. Plus, get 0% interest for 12 months. Or get 0% interest for 5 years with no money down. This weekend only at Ashley.
let's take one last look at that seven day forecast. Tomorrow is going to be a mostly sunny Sunday, highs 90 degrees. And you know, this three day weekend that we are going to see some more, you know, warm temperatures. Though on Monday, Labor Day, we are going to have a 10% chance of some rain showers. You can expect that mostly after 1 p.m. And then after that, our rain chances do take a break until this upcoming Friday when we do have a 20% chance of some isolated thunderstorms also happening towards the evening. And you know what? Let's enjoy the temperatures because we are cooling down just a little bit. For the most part, we are going to be in our mid to upper 80s. So you know what? Enjoy your Sunday. Thank you so much, Bridget. And that's all the time we have for news tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be here tomorrow at 10 o'clock. See you then.